Paper Bears, how are you doing? Let's get our shave on. Sorry for the camera angle. I couldn't find my stand, so <laughs> so we try something. Hey, the bears, how are you doing? Let's get our shave on. Sorry for the camera angle. I couldn't find my stand, so <laughs> so we try something new. Let me wet my face, and we will get going. I trimmed off the address on the sides. <laughs> so how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. <coughs> so in Norway, uh, and, uh, hair solo or barbers or hair cutters, we cut your hair. Uh, opening up again, schools opening more. Of course, they have still a strict rules and all. So it's going better, and it seems like we have to do our vacation here in Norway this year. But we're looking forward to that too. So far in these last days, it's been very nice uh, weather. So, enough of that. Let's get a shave on. We're using some uh, Circle the Wagon Fur Tree Limited Edition. A little bit of rust here and there. <laughs> and uh, the soap has shrink and I put in a few fir tree there. So it uh, moves around a lot now compared to when it was new. And I still have one more. And so I, <coughs> I guess I was stupid when I opened it and I uh, took off the tape and I just let it be. And now it shrinks like this too, but uh, still a little, little bit thicker. So let's get a shave on. I'll be using the Circle the Wagon Limited Edition brush. I don't know what number it is, not have glasses, 29 maybe. So this is a horse hair brush. Plenty loaded up here in my progresso bowl or progresso apothecary bowl. What do you want to call it? And last time I cut myself a little bit bad here, but uh, I was a little bit lazy. I used a uh, shellac foam. <laughs> Okay. I hope you can still hear me. <laughs> and I'm using a Norway t-shirt. <laughs> it's kind of dirty now, so I need to wash it anyway. Okay, so we got the razor. And uh, my last shave I used uh, this one. We are not going to use this one, but the blades. Uh, this is the slim twist. You have seen it before. I don't know, a military-ish case, I don't know. And you have seen uh, maybe this one. Similar case. This is the Visa Met Junior. Completely different razor, but really good. I really like it. Gorgeous razor. <coughs> and I assume I will do the travel uh, kit I bought. So the razor we're going to use is this one. So that's slim twist. Uh, case is uh, kind of 
broken. There. So let's give this a, a try again. Chlet Gold Baru 5 plus 1. And uh, I'm not sure where he made, but where I bought him was in Indonesia. So we're going to try a new one. Chlet Gold. And last time I used it in this one. Wow. It was, I had a few days to grow though, but it was really tuggy. There we go. And uh, has some instructions there. I don't know. Hmm. Almost looked like a multi blade razor in there. Anyway. There, and with some glue on the gold blade. Okay, let's give this shot. And uh, if it's bad as last time, it will be the last time I use the shellet gold uh, gold blades, or these ones at least. Oh, can you hear it? It's tugging. It's not cutting clean, even though you can see it's cut. It's like shaving with a serrated uh, blade. Not good. So we go with the big bell. Take out this one. Should look sharp, but does not do the job in my book. Get the big bell loaded. Oh yeah, that's a different story. Cuts more cleaner, more even. So should I shave the mustache? <laughs> Maybe I save it. And you can see I cut myself bad here last time. I was driving the car to pick up my wife when I was looking at it. Wow! And what? How did I do this? And, uh, oh, well, it happens. Even though I'm called solid shares, <laughs> it's not always a solid share, but. Again, for me. I'm not called the uh, perfect shapes, <laughs> but the solid shape, yeah, I'll give it a, in my opinion. <laughs> I was thinking of using uh, this thing too, but it's not so good. But it in Indonesia too. Uh, Minso. But it doesn't stick so well. I even tried it in the car. It didn't work. I must see if I can make it work later. Okay, first pass. And uh, I'm using my Casio. I don't remember the module name. Cheapo watch I bought in Estonia. Working man's watch. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I can. I guess you can call me a working man too. I suppose <laughs> I've done similar jobs like that too <clears throat> in my life. I've never had a high-end job or worked behind a desk or anything like that. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to tell you what I work with for today or now, uh, but I worked in different places. I worked in a putting range, a golf uh, a golf course or what you call it, you go where they play golf. Greenkeeper, I worked there. Putting range. I worked at the uh, garage where we fixed up all the welders, alternators, starters, and grinders, and, uh, welding machines, and uh, also everything electronic, changing the coal brushes, changing the different things, parts that worms out after use was one of my favorite jobs actually I worked there for circa five years maybe a little bit more uh, I loved the job even though it was hard sometimes sometimes I had to drive for the boss uh, to throw away his garden uh, <laughs> garden debris or from the trees he cut down or whatever it's okay, I didn't mind. <clears throat> but uh, I was, uh, one day he said something to me and I was a little bit upset about it and I said something rude back to him. And I guess I was young and stupid. So I said something to him back rude and then he came out of his office and he pushed me up against the wall and he said, if I said anything more or anything, <laughs> he would uh, knock me down. But I forgive him. Uh, I said some stupid things too. And so I, I still worked there, there for some time longer, but after that, uh, it was finished with that uh, line of work. And after that, I was looking for jobs. I got an opportunity to work uh, in the car dealership. But uh, a friend, or a friend of the family, so they knew the guy, and everything he's done before, it went bankrupt or didn't work out. So he. He didn't uh, recommend me taking the job, <laughs> so I didn't. And tell you what, his job still is running today. <laughs> Luck or what? <laughs> he still has it. <laughs> <clears throat> so. I started working uh, at another place where we make uh, parts for the shipping industry. Ooh, got a little beeper there. I worked there for some years, met some good friends. Well, I passed away some years ago. He was a little bit older than me. And, uh, and after a while, I got sick and uh, it was uh, <clears throat> some part of my body some didn't produce. So I, something in my body that didn't uh, work out, didn't, didn't produce uh, this thing as normal. So I got more sleepy, 
And of course it went out of the work, out of my work. I, I was tired all the time. I came home, I was sleeping all the time and I had trouble getting up in the morning. And I later went to the doctor and I found out there was something missing. So I have to take my medication for it. And, uh, and then it like got fired from that place. And uh, I also got uh, uh, tinnitus. When I have both ears, I got hearing loss because there was a lot of noise, machines there. So that wasn't fun. Uh, the boss, I said to the boss, uh, sorry I slept so little last night because I couldn't sleep because the ringing in the ears was so terrible I couldn't sleep. No, that doesn't matter, he said. You still have to come, come up, come to work. Okay, I say. <laughs> and after I was finished working there, I got the uh, dizzy spells. So dizzy that you, when you walk, everything goes around. You just have to lie down. Sometimes I throw up. One time it was really bad, and I was very anxious, scared, and I had to call my mother. I was living alone back then. I had to call my mother in the, in the middle of the night at three o'clock in, in the mo morning in the night. <laughs> so I would come there. <laughs> and I guess I was, uh, I didn't take it correctly. I, I shouldn't say more calm. So I think I learned on that. I still have some <clears throat> disciples from time to time, but it's not as bad as it used to be. It's a lot better. Damn, I don't know a little bit about me. But hey, stay positive. Always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> there. Mmm, I love the soap potato. This smells so good. Sadly, it's a limited edition soap. And of course, it's uh, made by How to Grow a Mustache. You see the logo. That they don't exist anymore. Now it's Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements or Phoenix Shaving, as you can see on the wall back there, someplace. There. <laughs> So, so uh, we're shaving with Angelo. He's got like 200 or so subscriber now. So congratulations. And to everybody else. New. And still a bit hair. Hair's here. Here. Oh, smooth. Smooth as a baby. <laughs> so, congrats to that. <coughs> I tried to make this channel fun and interesting too so if there's anything uh, you think I can do better please leave so in the comments and uh, I try to spread the word by Twitter and uh, Instagram I created profiles there to spread the word but still <laughs> I think I have like 73 subscribers it's really hard to get a lot of subscribers. Maybe I'm not so good or, or fun to watch either, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> maybe I have a hard time to understand me, I don't know. My English isn't my 
I speak it almost every day though with my wife. Yeah. We try to speak Norwegian too, but it's a little bit hard sometimes because when I speak fast, she doesn't <laughs> understand. <laughs> also, if I speak with the dialect, it's a bit hard for her. So we try, and she still goes to school. Well, she did before it was closed. So yeah. So it's hard to get a lot of subscribers. I thought maybe even I would when I made an Instagram account. And it will shoot uh, faster, <laughs> but I guess it will take some time. Maybe if people spread the word or whatever. I try to make a cool intro and fun intro and uh, everything. Of course, I don't have uh, all the money in the world. I can buy new products and review them, take and so uh, leave my opinion about them uh, because I can't afford to buy new stuff all the time. Just the way it is. Of course, I buy new stuff from time to time. And uh, if I'm gonna review this, it's a uh, mild, good shaver. Uh, if you don't like mild, then uh, it's not for you. But people who like mild, I would recommend it. Soap is fantastic. Of course, it's not so easy to get anymore. Uh, I don't know the, how to explain the scent. But it's really good, and uh, of course it has the pine additional, or fir, fir, I mean, fir tree. But it's really good soap. Of course this blade is utterly useless. And uh, the blade I was using there. Uh, Big Ben, it's really good. That's uh, definitely a blade, it's... Uh, I would uh, put up maybe to do three, two on the one high best and and five or ten lowest. It's really good. It's sharp. It's not super sharp as a feather, but it's sharp. So anyway, I hope you liked the video and take care. Of course, I'm going a little bit with the beard. Let's see. And I have <clears throat> for the balm and the aftershave, I uh, will use the clear again because it's skin bracer. And I love skin bracer. I should order more, maybe, maybe when the corona crisis is over. And I'll sell out in her. <laughs> oh, smell that. Get almost drink it, and <clears throat> let's use up some of this uh, Vergulda Home Dutch shaving cream. This is definitely one of my favorite aftershaves, skin razor or clear, and this is really good too. Maybe a top three bombs. Sound as good as the soap, mild or natural, perhaps. So sorry about the camera angle. It was all I could do because I couldn't find my regular stand. And let's use some of this again. Great British Grooming Beard Thickening uh, Serum. And let's see. It's a little bit like that. Let's see if my beard gets any <laughs> thick. I don't know. Do you see the difference? <laughs> So there, that was the shave. Take care, enjoy your day, enjoy your shaves, and may you all have salt shaves. Bye now.